Good evening and welcome to worship. So glad you can join us tonight for worship. If you're watching us online, please go to TrinityBoysville.com uh, where you will find a bulletin for tonight's service. A couple of quick announcements. Today is the deadline to order butter braids, and so if you have not done so, please go and click on that link online to help send our kids to camp. Again, tonight is the deadline for butter braid orders. This Saturday is the last day you can bring items for the Savers program here at church. Uh, you can bring it in from 9 to 12, those old clothes, household items. Um, bring anything you would sell at a thrift sale, you can bring, and, um, and we'll take care of it for you and use that money to help the women of Trinity. So we thank for all of our donations. We have a full room, completely packed with stuff, and another half of a room um, packed with stuff. So we're so very, very thankful for your generous donations. On Sunday, May 2nd, is our men's band worship, which will be at 9 a.m. outside in the parking lot. There will be no 8 a.m. worship that day. And this Sunday, go to our YouTube channel, Trinity Voiceville uh, WI, or the Facebook page, where you can you will find an online youth worship service uh, made by our online youth of all ages, uh, doing all sorts of things for that service, uh, including uh, preaching by our Voiceville senior, Megan Olson. So join us for that on Sunday as well. I'm going to give the rest of the announcements to you. I invite you to please stand as we sing. Your Christian friends rejoice and sing.
Grace and peace to you from God, our Father, and our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. You know, one of the fears that some people have is a fear of clowns. Does anybody here have a fear of clowns that doesn't, don't like clowns? Katie, you don't like clowns? Well, I don't have a fear of clowns, but when I was a kid, I had, my mom, for some reason, put a creepy picture of a clown in my room. It was super creepy. And sometimes at night, when I would see that picture in the light of, you know, the moonlight coming through the window and the creepiness, I would get really scared. And then I would end up having actual nightmares about the clown. And the, the clown would come to my nightmares and would scare me, and I would scream, and my mom would come, or my dad would come into my room and like care for me and like um, help me out and make me feel better. And maybe you had that when you had nightmares when you were a kid. A parent or someone that would come to soothe your fears. Or maybe you've been that to your kids or to someone else. I think about that when we have our reading here for today. Because you must remember the context that the disciples are in full of fear. They're in a locked room. They're afraid of being arrested. They're afraid of being killed by the enemies of Jesus. And into this room, into this locked room, this room of fear, comes Jesus. And he brings peace. Peace be with you. Three times in Luke does Jesus appear to the disciples and tell them, peace be with you. It's a reminder for us that in the midst of our fears in life, in the midst of the things that scare us, in the midst of the things that make us afraid, that Jesus comes bringing peace. Sometimes in our own hearts, we lock away everything and we feel like we're in a locked room and be closed by fear and closed by pain and closed by suffering. A place where we can't find rest, where we have anxiousness and doubts and and hurts that just don't seem to go away. But Jesus comes in and says, peace be with you. Jesus comes in and shows us his hands at his side, shows us that he's died for our sins, shows us that he's died to defeat all things that might make us afraid, that Jesus has come to free us from our bonds, especially our bonds of fear, so that we might live as people of hope, so that we might live free, so that we might live knowing that God and Jesus Christ is with us. Your Savior is with you. Whatever fear you have in your hearts this day, whatever locked room you find yourself in, Jesus comes bringing peace. Jesus comes bringing new life. Jesus comes bringing salvation. And he brings it for you because he loves you. Do not be afraid. Christ is with you always. For that we can say thanks be to God. Amen. I invite you to please stand as we confess our shared faith. We are church together, and so let us confess our faith in the words of the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray for the whole people of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their need. Good and loving God, in the midst of our fear, your Son, Jesus Christ, comes to bring us peace. May that peace enter our hearts and calm our fears, 
ease our troubles and remind us that we're not alone. Continue to be with us each and every day. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, heal those who are hurt in body, mind, or spirit this day. Lift them up, stitch their wounds, comfort their souls, and remind them that you are with them. Give them your peace, your guidance, and your hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, we give thanks for this creation you have blessed us with. Tomorrow, as we celebrate Earth Day, we remember the precious gift of your creation. Help us to care for this creation. Help us to preserve it for future generations. Help us to never take it for granted. And help us to give thanks every day for the gift of this world. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Loving God, in the midst of division that seems to penetrate all aspects of society, be our peace. Remind us that there is so much that connects us and to focus on what unites us instead of what divides us. Help us to act with compassion, civility, and grace to each other, just as you give compassion and grace to us. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of hope, walk with those who grieve the loss of loved ones. Remind them of the eternal life that's won for them through your Son, Jesus Christ. And be with them, comforting them on their journey and giving them strength. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Into your hands, gracious God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And also with you. Share a sign of peace to each other here that are uh, present. And if you are online, I invite you to share peace uh, in the comment section. If you'd like to give an offer to Trinity, you can send it in the mail to PO Box 247, Boys, Wisconsin. If you go to the website, trinityboys.com, scroll down on that front page and use that giving portal, or download the Give Plus app. If you are here in person, you have an offering, there is a offering plate as you exit the church. We continue with our offertory prayer. Let us pray. Merciful Father, we offer with joy and thanksgiving what you have first given us, ourselves, our time, and our possessions. Signed with your gracious love, receive them for the sake of him who offered himself for us, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now hear the word of the Lord. The night in which we betrayed our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Yet after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave for them to drink, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us pray the prayer our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Come now, the table is set, and our Lord Jesus Christ invites you to receive the gifts of God for you, the people of God. The body of Christ broken for you, the blood of Christ poured out for you. At this time, I invite you to take communion, just be very careful, opening your things. If you don't have them, you can grab them right at the doorway there. I kind of wonder, because I saw Brooklyn looking around earlier.
And would you please stand? And now may the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ strengthen you and keep you in his grace until life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Loving God, we give thanks for the healing power of this gift of life. Send us out into the world filled with faith and love and a willingness to serve our neighbor as you serve us. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray. Amen. And now receive God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you in favor and give you peace in the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <clears throat> Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We conclude with all hail the power of Jesus' name.